I want to interview at some point a man who was homeless in Thailand who became a billionaire by working on himself, using a lot of the principles. He says he actually owes all of his success to me, even though I met him after he became a billionaire. He watched the movie The Secret. He read the books that I wrote. He uh, applied everything and he said, I owe my success to you, Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, some of the teachers in The Secret. And my point of bringing it up is that what you just said in your story illustrated so many points. One is, much like my homeless friend in Thailand, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are. The second thing is, there's nobody to blame. Actually, nobody's at fault and nobody is at blame, but you are responsible for changing your life. Another thing was you gave him some of the tools like believing in himself, which at first, when you first get these tools, you don't really fully believe in them because they're brand new. It's like putting on brand new shoes. And there's a little bit of a tightness there until you wear them a little bit. And then it's like, yeah, those are my shoes and I wear them all the time. <laughs> and then another thing that you <laughs> illustrated there was that you believed in him. I have said many times that sometimes you need a person who believes in you more than you believe in yourself to kind of kickstart you which is why it's so important that I, I believe in coaching, I believe in mentoring, I believe in getting outside help at the appropriate times because we can't always do it for ourselves.